yeah we are uh, live now okay so good morning uh, my name is sachin gupta uh, i am the international education career coach uh, so today i want to do this video to talk about uh, how are things with australia in australia in the present covid situation you know uh, students who are looking to study in australia who had got their offer letters or even have paid their fees or they could be even at you know they have submitted their visa application with dha they could have got a visa or they are awaiting a decision uh, you know from from dha so uh, a lot of queries which have come up uh, you know uh, in the last 3 4 weeks ever since this covid situation has come up is as to uh, would i be able to go from a student's perspective would i be able to go uh, in july intake uh, what if uh, i cannot go what are the border restrictions as far as uh, they are in place as of now so to talk about all of them today i have with me uh, prashant prashant is uh prashant prasanna prashant prasanna is the regional recruitment manager uh with uh, victoria university melbourne uh, prashant thank you so much for uh joining me today here on this video and uh, you know a very warm welcome to you thank you so much uh, sachin first of all uh, a very good morning to you and it's it's afternoon for me here in melbourne yeah. as such but uh, we always love to do this such uh, sessions with you sachin it's very informative i think there is a lot of messages that we can uh, convey to our uh, prospective students and the market as such so uh, hoping that this session turns out to be an informative one for you and all the other stakeholders out there absolutely prashant so i thought you know uh, students and parents equally are confused there is a, a huge element of fear also so the, the confusion and fear is on two counts one uh, obviously because of the covid thing you know uh, this virus obviously has brought in fear to everybody so that is why everybody is locked into yeah. their homes second uh, students and parents they are also they are also kind of uh, you know confused about the career you know student of his own uh, parent of his child's career as to how are they going to pan out for you know for example somebody who's who has given his 12th standard exams in india right now the uh, except uh, a subject or so uh, the results would whenever the, the cbsc board or the, or the state board would declare they would start to come in then the bachelor fraternity the, the final year students who would have their exams you know so students who were looking at july intake or november intake right uh, how are things going to be there so i want to ask you uh, you know uh, it is always good to have information first hand you know as we say always listen from the horse's mouth so uh, to, uh, prashant uh, to start off i want to understand how is the situation with covid situation with australia in the sense that um, are the borders closed as of now uh, are any so first question is any student who's got a visa can he travel uh, and what is the situation with dha in terms of are they processing applications or not so two three questions yeah look, thank you thank you sachin uh, look I, i'll probably answer it from a perspective that you know from what we have been hearing and what we have been seeing from a university perspective as such uh, at the moment yes the borders for australia seem to be closed as such i mean yeah, uh, i think this is the situation with a lot of countries across the globe as such you know because they are trying to control the uh, the covid situation by putting in measures like isolation and social distancing as such um, uh, from a victorian perspective if if you are if you're seeing the news as such i think the the curve seems to have flattened down slowly uh, the rate of infection seem to be reducing as such because they put in some uh, fantastic social distancing measures in place as such now uh, what's going to happen from a future perspective it is really hard for us to uh, 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 go out there and and say say anything as such because we are monitoring the situation on a day to day basis now from a from a victoria university perspective i can say that we have our uh, critical response team who is monitoring the situation on a daily basis and keeping us our current students and also the prospective uh, students up to date up, uh, up to date with the situation uh, as to what's going on now uh, just to give a brief background as such uh, we have no positive cases of corona at victoria university which is good so all our staff and um, uh, students are safe uh majority of the staff is currently working from home given the present situation uh the current students who are undertaking the programs with us have moved to an online model as such which is, seems to be really uh, working well and the students are happy happy as such um now from a future perspective we are still we are still assessing the applications we are still issuing the offer letters for the july intake as such now as i'm speak as i'm doing this session as such i'm sure uh, the university academics and the other professionals are thinking about 
what could be the next closest intake available. Now, there's a lot of factors which go into play, in, play in here. I think one of the main important things being uh, when would Australia open the borders and when would other countries say, for example, in our situation, India also open the borders and let the people fly out of there. So I think uh, everyone is waiting for these for these uh, uh, answers at the moment. Now, um, now, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would know about our block learning uh, uh, model that we use for our international students. So at the moment, it is available for uh, the package programs and the undergraduate programs as such. Now, the beauty of this is a student comes and undertakes one unit every month. So we have the opportunity to open up an intake, if not in July, in August or in September as well. So, for, so the way we're looking at it is if a student is unable to come in July, then we are looking at options as you know, can we commence this particular bachelor's program in the August or in the September intake? Now, there's a lot of permutations and combinations being put in place um, over there by the academics and, and we are waiting for an announcement to be made soon. Um, uh, as I convey about the UG programs and also we are looking at what's the next possible earliest intake we can have for the PG programs as well. Having said that, I think Australia is in a very nice position because generally you have three intakes in a year. So you have the Feb or the March, then you have the June or the July, and then you have the November intake as such. So we're guessing if a student is unable to make it to this intake, I'm sure that you know the providers will, will work together to put across the next intake as such and ensure that uh, 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 there is no loss or minimal loss cost to, this, cost to the students coming in. So this is just a brief scenario as to what's going on in here and what we are currently working on. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Uh, Prashant, from a student's perspective, right? Yes. Now, if you were, uh, if you, you were to be, you know, if you were in India and uh, you were to plan to come to Australia for studying, okay? Yes. And uh, now, what is happening is, uh, in India, currently, you cannot appear for a IELTS test, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, you cannot, the exams are delayed, you know, uh, so I'm talking about undergraduate first, specifically, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so certain specific uh, subject, the course subject exams are still pending. The results mm -hmm. we foresee could get delayed, you know, although we are, we are still uh, in the middle of uh, April, you know. Uh, so in this situation, now uh, in Australia, one thing which is very particular is, Australia is very particular about is the GT criteria, you know, uh, they yes. uh, would look to, uh, any university starts to look at any education gap of more than six months from a very, from a, they put up a red flag onto it, right? So my point is, in a case a student is not obviously July intake seems very, very improbable. Even if a student is to go for November or now we all do not know how the situation is going to pan out globally in India or in Australia, you know, even if a student is to go out, go for a Jan Feb 2021, you know, uh, how do you see university, what university, uh, from the GT perspective, how do you see university assessing a student? Um, I, I think it's a, it's a good question, Sachin. Again, I think uh, uh, the, the answer lies in the question, question itself, as Sachin. I think, as you mentioned, it's a very, um, uh, uncertainty is very bothersome for everyone as such. And I think no one has a clear answer as to, you know, how, how, the, how the situation would pan out. Now, Knowing uh, the Department of Home Affairs, I'm, I'm sure that they would take a lot of these factors in, into consideration as such, you know, with the gaps and the other issues as such. Now, we at uh, Victoria University are looking at situations like these. Uh, we aim to come up with some sort of a, a solution for our agents and for our students as such. I think probably I'm guessing, look, at the moment, it's Easter break in, in Australia as such. So we have Easter vacations uh, until tomorrow. The staff is not back at least till Wednesday. So I think that post Wednesday onwards, I think the wheel is going to start spinning again. And that's when we are going to start looking at um, um, all these all these. Uh, 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 things as to you know what's going to happen from a gap perspective the english the academics as such because i think um, the it's it's the whole idea of gt is to attract genuine students as such i think the gt is always going to remain and i think the australian government has really worked really hard to put that gt criteria in place as such but again you know i understand that we need to take the current scenario into account as such now uh, there are peak industry bodies who are lobbying with the respective uh, state and the federal governments to take into account this whole scenario. I'm sure that, you know, in the next couple of days or even the next couple of weeks or so, we should have a clear idea as to 
what direction this is going to be headed in. Now, look, I myself have been an international student. I arrived uh, in Australia in 2006, so I've been here for the last 14 years. There's a lot that this country has to offer. Uh, apart from the fact that you get an international study experience, you also get the opportunity to step out of your comfort zone and meet people and mingle with people from different cultural backgrounds as such. Now, this experience is, is fantastic, and this is what um, makes makes a student makes him or her strong. So, I think um, if I was an international student in India at the moment, there's there's a lot that I could do. Probably, yes, you always have that fact, that uncertainty in your head as to you know what's going to happen in the future, how is it going to affect my studies, uh, what am I going to do? I think these are common questions that everyone have at the moment. But if I'm looking at it from a positive perspective, I think there are certain English classes which are running online as such, the student can be a part of it. They can engage in conversations with, uh, with the university provider like us. They can talk to you. And also, I think the student can also look at, you know, engaging or keeping themselves busy with picking up some sort of a hobby or extra classes or something which will add value when they come in here. Um, I'm sure, you know, that the situation will be positive when things, when things settle down. Uh, um, uh, it's more like you know you can definitely see light at the end of the tunnel as like, such. It's it's very unfortunate. I think no one predicted something like this. Uh, but if if my message to the international student out there is look, be positive, be strong. Uh, look at how you can improve your skills. There's a lot you can do. You can you can improve on your English skills. You can get to if if you're if you know that you want to do a specific course, you can certainly go and do some research about the course. You can talk to the counselors. You can talk to you can talk to us. I think that will give you enough time to prepare yourselves because once things start to settle down, I'm sure that you know you as a student uh, will have these questions in your head. And I think it's a it's a fantastic time for a student to get all this cleared and uh, look at them coming to Australia to further their studies. True, true, true. Absolutely true. You know, instead of uh, instead of dilly dallying or gossiping, I you know you know one yeah. fallout of. Uh, situations like this is suddenly everybody on social media because that is that is one medium which has come up so strong. You know, you you tend to gossip, and once you tend to gossip, you your yeah. mindset becomes in such a way. You know, you start to go into that zone whereby you would only start to think about oh, how am I going to go to Australia? For example, you know, how am I going to go? Yeah. What am I going to do with my career? What if I cannot study? You know, instead of looking at what you can do. You start to focus yeah, more on yeah. what you cannot do. That that's human psychology. Absolutely. That 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 happens with so very 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 nicely put, uh, Prashant. That everybody, students specifically, you know, it applies to everybody. Professionals like us, you, students specifically, that they need to do something constructive during this time. You know, mm -hmm. own their English skills, get onto some online English course. You know, speak to somebody. Speak to somebody who makes sense. University exactly. guys. You know, us people yeah. who. Who we yeah. ha who have the first time information, a lot of information. We will yeah. bring out a lot of information. The idea of today's video is to start, with, you know, start from today because uh, India. Yeah. Uh, so India is going to another lockdown up till 31st of 30th of April. You know, we are yes. The lockdown has been extended, so uh, we've got another couple of weeks to go, uh, three weeks to go before you know we need to, we will know what's going to happen. So yeah, mm -hmm. that, that, that that is how things should be done. Yeah, I think social media is can be can be a really good tool, and social media can also cause a lot of damage. As Absolutely. Such. Look, Absolutely. and I myself, you know, I'm very careful as to you know what. Uh, the, look, I think it's very important that uh, you always take into account the source as such. I think I would definitely rely on, uh, and my message to all everyone out there is: will look, just rely on what the government is basically telling you, and uh, uh, what the what the the universities are telling you as such, and also your agents as such, because we are constantly keeping ourselves up to date with the with the situation. Uh, uncertainty is bothersome. I use this phrase every time, and and uh, like like Sachin very clearly said, uh, you you would have a lot of questions in your head, which is good. I think someone who doesn't have all these questions, then it would be a problem. When you have all these sort of questions, I think it's, it's really good. But what you need to do is you need to work towards them. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do as such. You know, I mean, use this as an opportunity to spend some time with your family as well. If you know that you're going away overseas uh, for your future opportunity, it's, it's a good time to build up on those skills uh, because you're coming into a country where the, the, the extracurricular skills that you would have, uh, just to name a few as such, you know, say in terms of networking, 
uh, which is a very important skill in a country like like Australia. I think build build on things like these, which would really take you to the next level when you come here to Australia. Correct. On top Correct. on top of that, there is so much that you can learn. There's so much you can self educate yourself. You mm. can go onto the Victoria University website. You can go onto the Facebook pages, the Instagram pages. There's a lot of information that we put on there from a course perspective. We share uh, uh, videos from our alumni as such, and also we are in the process of organizing some fantastic uh, webinar sessions, which are subject matter experts as well, which will give you first-hand information as to you know uh, why I should do this course and why not something else. So I think there is there is a lot there is a lot that you can you can do, and everything all this is accessible at your fingertip. Now nowadays everyone's using mobile devices, as such you know all this is available by a mobile itself. Correct. So uh, yes. Yeah. So another thing which came to my mind just as you were speaking is, uh, so yes. I raised this point uh, as to, for example, if a student delays uh, his or her decision to buy to go in the next, mm. uh, you know, winter intake, January 2021. One thing mm. which a student, uh, which a student can do is, you know, to add mm. to a profile to showcase to the university mm. or DHA that they were mm. not sitting idle. Mm. You know, do exactly. some online course. Get get. So there yes. are a lot of go to Coursera. Go to go to Upgrad. Mm. There are hmm. Udemy. There are a lot of hmm. online platforms. Suddenly, who yes. have gone? Suddenly, who are who are who are in business now? Those guys are actually in business yes. now. Utilize them. There are free courses. Do that course. That is something which you can tell to a university or to a DHA that look, I was not sitting idle. I was not just dilly dallying. I was just wasting hmm. my time. Hmm. I was not gossiping. Hmm. I am serious hmm. about my career, and this is I'm so too. And I have done this. Look, this is a certification which I've done. It could be. Hmm. You could have learned. You could have learned a language. Hone your English skills. Mm. Any course, which which as per your mm. interest. So I think that's another thing which which a student can do, and you know, then it mm. adds up to the profile when when the student comes mm. to you for admission to the university to the high commission for the visa. It that will mm. hold a lot of value. Mm. Okay. True, 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 true. Uh, you know, one thing, uh, another thing, rather, uh, Prashant. Now. Mm. Uh, Another thing which is doing huge rounds on social media is uh, the way uh, how are the, the the interaction students who are on shore who are currently in Australia facing any kind of hardship, financial hardship, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, how is the Australian government or the universities supporting them? Mm -hmm. Now, why I I I would like to put this thing in a in a perspective, right? Yeah. Now, what has happened is that. Uh, so how so if you if you understand from a student's perspective, anybody who's looking to go, who is in the country in India, he is looking definitely looking at the, at Australia. The students are already there. How are they being treated? Yes. How are they being taken care of by the universities or the government? One yes. statement when when Prime Minister Morrison, uh, you know, he he that, that now he said that obviously which, which is which is very valid also that anybody who cannot support himself or herself you know should look to go back home this statement instead of being taken and understood in a right way as kind of you know there are a lot of uh, elements who have kind of you know try to uh, put this in a negative way right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. from from you i want to understand victoria university melbourne right mm -hmm. now i understand that uh, uh, one thing with the government has come up with is that uh, there is any student who has been in Australia for for a year now can access their superannuation, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I recently did a post on what is superannuation, how it can be accessed, right? It is just like your provident fund. Anybody who's been working in been in Australia for for a year can access their superannuation fund. So that is one one measure is already there. So Prashant, what other measures are in place, uh, you know, uh, by Victoria University to take care of their existing students? Fantastic. Look, I would first like to say that look, international students are a, a strong source of revenue for Australia. Sir. Right. There is so much that an international student brings to Australia and to Victoria University. Uh, uh, look, there is a, there is a lot that we in Australia learn from international students as well, because of which Australia is a very multicultural country, and Melbourne in particular is a, is a very multicultural city as such. They've always been very supportive of international students. And I'm sure you know that the governments are thinking about international students. They are putting plans together. When this will 
when this will turn out to uh, uh, something positive is something we we cannot convey at the moment but we are in regular touch with the government to see uh, and again like i said peak industry bodies are lobbying with the different state and federal governments to see how to uh, assist the international students now speaking from a victoria university perspective like i said international students bring fantastic value for us so we understand certain hardships that a student international student can face so what we have done is we have come up with an emergency fund for our existing international students who are studying on the ground uh, an international student can avail up to $700 uh, in terms of a one off payment now if they go on to a website under the frequently answered questions section for the international students there are certain criteria and certain forms what they have to fill in in in, in order to be available uh, in order to make themselves available for this emergency fund as such um, also there are several other things i mean we have moved the whole syllabus online at the moment we are giving special consideration to students who are going through the scenario as such now this is what we are currently doing i am sure that as the situation as we move forward there are few more plans that we will that we'll work on but we understand that every international student will be facing a hard time and i think this emergency fund of up to 700 dollars per student that we have put in place should be able to offer them some sort of a temporary relief as such now again i tell the student keep your eyes and ears out keep visiting the website keep looking at the department of home affairs website on a regular basis rely on reliable source of truth as such something I'm, i'm sure that the government's uh, the government of australia will do something for the international students as such again coming back to the point that we value the energy the positivity that the international students bring into this country i myself have been an international student in here the country has offered me something fantastic i have i have made uh, some strong networking opportunity i had the opportunity to network with some fantastic people in here made strong friendships in here and uh, i'm sure uh, uh, if i can do it an international student can also do it as such so i think things will change like i said there is light at the end of the tunnel um we will keep updating uh, you as a agent on a regular basis and we'll also keep updating our current international students and our prospective students as well uh, so just keep an eye out on on the actual source of truth which is our website speaking to uh, agents like you and also looking at the government websites like you know study melbourne department of home affairs on a very regular basis to see what plans are currently being put in place correct right. true i'm going to what i'm going to do is uh, uh, once we, when we plan to release this video i'm going to yep. put up all these links uh, in in the in yes. uh, description fantastic the so the students yep. can have access to what we are talking about yeah yes fantastic that sounds good yeah. Shant, uh, now another thing uh, now is that uh, most of the universities, uh, okay, ha- uh, for anybody who had, no, there would not be a student who would have got a visa for July thing. Okay, is the university planning to go on to the online education model, or has it already gone on some online education model? for the for the current existing students who are who are already studying at victoria university the syllabus the syllabus has been moved online as such where they are currently undertaking their studies now from a future perspective there are several questions which need to be answered as such which we are currently working on uh, um, i think questions there there are several questions around post study work visa and all that which yeah, we which I we are, to ask you that yes. find it yes. yeah which we find it very difficult to answer again we not being registered migration agents mm-hmm. and we not being mm-hmm. part of immigration it's very hard for us to answer but those questions are out there with the with the home affairs as such and i'm sure that they're currently working on some sort of a solution to see what impact this would have uh, uh, on on the on the on the existing students and and the students who are planning to come away from um, overseas as such uh, so look the situation that we are in things can change in two weeks things can change in three weeks four weeks is such so the best thing what what we, we are doing is we are monitoring the situation on a daily basis uh, uh, and and moving moving the whole syllabus online was i think is is a very big task for a lot of providers out there but i think a lot of them have done a fantastic job vu has also done a fantastic job the academics have worked day and night in moving the syllabus uh, syllabus online and the international students seem to be enjoying it as such because they are able to still continue their studies with the at the comfort of their homes 
uh, and, and feel safe as well. So again, what I would say is, I think in the next couple of weeks, we will have a clear idea as to, you know, what is going to happen, for, what, what the situation of the prospective student would be. Um, if, if the borders remain closed for both the countries, then we'll have to look at some alternate options as such, and we'll have to look at some alternate dates too. So uh, I endeavor to keep you up to date with this Correct. as soon as I have some. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, this is, this is very important because, for example, Canada has declared this policy that, in, for, for example, yeah. any student who's, who is looking to go into September intake, uh, you yeah. know, uh, but is not able to join due to whatever reason. If they are, mm -hmm. for example, they have a, they are going they are going on a two year course and they are able to do uh, even the fifty percent, you know, in their home country online, mm -hmm. the PSW the post study work uh, would not be affected. You know, they mm -hmm. would be the same direction. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, yes. So to all the students, we would definitely uh, as of now uh, there is there is no clarity on this as far as Australia is yeah. concerned. But yeah. as we just heard Prashant say this. Uh, whenever DHA comes up with the policy, uh, they, they they put around uh, a policy on this. We you would hear it from us. You know, we would again get of on course. live. We would of again course. request Prashant to be with us and and share information uh, with us on that. All right, fantastic. Of course. Uh, Prashant, uh, any uh, scholarships, additional scholarships, or uh, you know. Um, some discount, so as to say, uh, Victoria University Melbourne is going to offer for July intake or November intake. Something um, at the at, at the moment we have the the scholarships in place for students coming from India, where the scholarship schemes available for a student undertaking a diploma to undergraduate program, an undergraduate program, and a postgraduate program. In a UG program, they can be eligible for scholarships of up to twelve thousand dollars. And for a PG program, they can be eligible for scholarships for up to $6,000 as such. Uh, so I think if, even if a student does go and look at our uh, tuition fee structure as well, it's, it's, it's very competitive. And then if they're able to meet these, the, uh, uh, the scholarship criteria, they'll be entitled for uh, the scholarship amounts, which I just mentioned. So at this stage, these are the scholarships that we are currently promoting. Uh, again, if if there are any additions or if there is anything new that we do look at bringing as such, you will be the first ones to know. Correct. Absolutely. 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 So uh, to wind up, uh, Prashant, final to sum up this entire video. I'm a yeah. student. You know, yeah. I I I was planning to come to. I am planning to come to Australia in July and take. Yeah. I might would want to defer in November because my family might not allow me to come to July. Even if things go well, there's an element of fear also, right? Mm -hmm. What would you say, as from a from a university's perspective? What would you say to me? I think the first thing I would say is I think it's a right decision that you've chosen Victoria University as a study provider. Uh, we are a very student-centric university as such. There is a lot that we have to offer to our international students. We have a award-winning learning model called as a block learning model, where uh, if you're an undergraduate student, you get to study one unit every month as such, especially in a scenario like this, this would really work well because we don't want to burden you with all the four units at a time. So you study, take one unit at a time and then progress gradually as such. This will also be available for the postgraduate programs from 2021 as such. I think as an international student, yes, I do, uh, being in, if I'm in India, if I'm looking at going to Australia, yes. Uh, again, uh, uncertainty is something that would bother me. Uh, I would be really worried about what uh, what's going to happen uh, in the future as such. But I would say, look, I think, you, you've chosen Australia as your study uh, destination for a reason. There's a lot that Australia as a country has to offer. Unfortunately, this is a situation which is beyond our control and your control as well. Uh, continue to do what you're doing as an international student, that is do your research, improvise on your skills, on your speaking skills, on your listening, reading and writing skills as such. Do some research about the program. Uh, like I said, there are three intakes available in, in Victoria University, which is uh, Feb, June, or November as such. Um, do, if you end up missing an intake because of this unfortunate situation, there's always another intake that you can look at. Uh, trust us, we definitely value 
uh, you as an international student, we are currently working on finding some solutions for you. Uh, and I'm sure that very soon we'll be able to come up with some sort of a solution which could, uh, which would have a mutual outcome for both of us. Uh, it's, it's, Australia is a beautiful country. There is a lot that you have to learn. There is a lot that you have to offer. Melbourne in itself is uh, known as one of the most livable cities for plenty of reasons. Okay. Fantastic infrastructure facilities, educational facilities. Uh, you have several acts in place by the government, the ESOS Act. Uh, so there's a lot that we have to offer the international students. So right. be positive. Uh, please be speaking to us on a regular basis. Absolutely. Speak to uh, Sachin as well, who is uh, one of our authorized representative. I'm sure that Sachin would have the first-hand information to pass on to you. Please feel to contact me as well at any time. Uh, we, are, we are here to answer your queries. We have a team in Delhi as well. I'm sure Sachin can provide all the details to you. So the more questions you ask, the more um, answers you will get. And then I think you'll be in a situation to clear your doubts. And uh, um, the other thing I can say is, look, I myself am based in Melbourne. And I, and I definitely hope that this situation settles down, where I have an opportunity to welcome you to a campus and at the orientation where I'll be able to shake your hands and tell you thank you for choosing Victoria University and uh, wish you have a fantastic future and a fantastic journey in here. Absolutely, absolutely. So the point being uh, to, to students and their parents, uh, yes, uh, you know, these are difficult times, uh, scary times, yes. uncertain times, right? They are for everybody, right? But yes, uh, please, uh, for parents, uh, please, ensure that the students that the, that the children are they're not gossiping you know they're not they're not of course, they're not of course. they're not just building it up in their mind more than the actual situation right yeah so there are two there are two elements to a situation one the actual one one yeah. the people who, who build it up in their own minds right yeah yeah so get online do something for yourself do some online course yeah. right uh, do some free online IELTS training improve upon uh, uh, the, your English capabilities, whatever they are right now, right? And when things settle down, so that, so there'll be two people, one who would have worked, worked on themselves, on their profile, you know, yeah. on their on their application, uh, on their intent in these two, three, four, five weeks, or whatever time it takes. Mm -hmm. And the other category would be who would start to look at then, who do you want yes. to that, That's a matter of choice. Yeah. Right. So it, it, it I is. think they have enough. I think the the students have enough time now. Absolutely. I mean, now time is the time. Is really important. Time yeah. is very precious. I think they have fantastic opportunity now to gather as much information as they want to. Some, and is, uh, exactly, this is you know we always say that we do not have time to do this X Y Z thing. Exactly. Now is the yeah. time. So even if you do not now do it now, it is pure lack of discipline. Yeah. Honestly, people who do not do anybody it could be anybody. You know, any student who who if you do not do anything now. If you do not, if you just sit idle, uh, you know, uh, all I can say is it will be a lack of discipline. So don't be that, you know, you'll, you'll have a head start when things settle down, be that one, right? Fantastic. So, yeah. So thank you so much, Prashant. I, I really appreciate. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, uh, the first uh, video which I want to put out on the current situation and how are, thank how you. are we looking at things. I'm sure there'll be a lot of information coming out and we would... Uh, I would again request you once we have something more concrete on uh, a few queries. I would again request you to be with me uh, on a video and uh, let's just share with our students and their parents alike. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sachin. I think uh, I hope this information, this session was very informative. I think I really, I, I always enjoy uh, talking to you. I think there's a lot of uh, good questions that you put out there, and there's a lot of information we get to communicate to the students as well. Uh, before going, I would say look. Please look after yourself. Please stay safe. Um, and I'm sure things will change. Okay. And uh, if you want to get in touch with, with me or my team or Victoria University, all the details are available with Sachin. Okay. So all the very best. Enjoy this time. You Use this as an opportunity to learn and also spend time with your family. Family is as such. Absolutely. And I hope to see you all and talk to you all really very soon. Very soon. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Prashant. Stay safe yourself. And we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.